Lyka pushed his mother off a 100 meter cliff. The mother slid down the cliff, but was able to catch herself on a tree branch. Seeing that his aim was not successful, Lyka lifted a 30 kilogram rock and was about to throw it at his mother. In the nick of time, Jack rushed forward and tackled Lyka to the ground. The rock landed right next to his mother. Always understanding, Jack was very much liked by his aunt and would often even look at her as his mother. But his cousin Lyka saw this and felt that his mother didn't love him anymore. What makes him even more angry was that his sister Lucy had become good friends with Jack as well, so he now hated the sight of Lucy. At night Lucy came over to Jack to play a game, but Lyka grabbed her by the ear and told her to hurry up and get out of the house. Jack pressed Lyka against the wall and told him he couldn't treat his sister like that. But no one knew that the nine-year-old had already killed his own sister. One morning, Jack realized that both siblings had disappeared. Jack sensed something was wrong and ran out of the house. Lyka was skating on the ice with Lucy, and while Lucy was having a good time, Lyka yanked her out of the ice and skated straight out of the safety zone. Behind him, Lyka stopped and braked hard. Lucy carefully stood up, but the ice had already started to break up. Seemingly well-meaning, Lyka slowly approached the hole in the ice. Lucy was struggling in the water, but his brother didn't try to pull him out. Luckily, two rescuers arrived in time to break the ice with an axe. Jack looked at them with disappointment. Finally, Lucy was rescued. Jack finally lost his nerve and told his aunt the truth. Lucy didn't fall through the ice by accident. Lyka tried to kill her, but her aunt couldn't believe it. The next day, Lyka found Jack and warned him not to talk. Jack said firmly, sooner or later, everyone will know the truth. Lyka's face was mocking, and who's going to believe you? How terrible the child's lies were. Jack threw all the food into the sink, because his cousin lied to him about putting poison in it. At that moment, Lyka ran to mom and dad's room and called them out. Seeing Jack's strange behavior, his aunt thought he was mentally ill and just locked him in his room. That day, Ben crept into Lyka's secret base, where she found a plastic duckling, which was his youngest son's favorite toy. Looking at Lyka's stammering and speechlessness, and combining it with what Jack had said to her yesterday, Ben didn't dare to think any further. Suddenly, Lyka snatched the duck from her hand. Then he ran to a well and threw the duck down. That's when he had evil thoughts about Ben. Then Ben drove back to the house, and Jack saw the light. He didn't expect Lyka to block Ben out. He said he wanted to talk to his mom. Jack knew the danger of his end had come. He grabbed a chair, smashed the glass, and chased him out. Ben asked him, how did your brother die? Lyka said, so what if I killed him? And he turned and ran. But Ben chased him to the edge of the cliff, but he didn't see him. Suddenly Lyka came out from behind, and without a moment's hesitation, he pushed his mom off the cliff. Luckily, she grabbed a tree right in the middle, but by now her son was ready with a big rock. In a moment of crisis, Jack came and fought with Lyka. Ben took the opportunity to climb up the edge of the cliff, little by little, but the cliff was too steep. Lyka, having eaten well, quickly gained the upper hand, but they didn't realize that the cliff was right next to them. Luckily, Ben finally climbed up and grabbed the kids. She didn't know what to do in this situation. Jack was about to fall off the cliff. Just in the nick of time, she decisively let go of her own son's hand. <coughs> Kind-hearted Jack was rescued by his aunt, and they hugged and cried on the cliff. Well, that's the end of this video. See you in the next one.